As we know, Apple has been exploring virtual reality and augmented reality technologies for more than 10 years, based on recorded patent filings. Needless to say, Apple fans worldwide have eagerly anticipated the rollout, along with its expected offering of Apple Glass. Today, we have the latest updates including, the closely guarded Apple Glass release date. In addition, we'll be discussing new patents for yet another entrant into the Apple VR lineup, the Apple VR headset. But, before we dive in, remember to smash the like button, and subscribe, for the latest in Apple developments. Rumors have swirled for years, about Apple's AR and VR ambitions. The company does have its augmented reality software development platform but, to date, Apple still hasn't made hardware of its own. Recently, a handful of reports gave key details on Apple's AR and VR hardware plans than we've ever heard before. It started with a report that painted a picture of Apple's ambitious potential VR headset. The device is said to include a dozen or more cameras for tracking movement and showing the real world to the wearer that'll be coupled with two 8K displays giving it an effective resolution that would far surpass anything currently on the market. Additionally, the headset will be fully sealed so the wearer won't be able to directly see anything in the real world. With two 8K screens it will offer an extremely immersive VR experience and the cameras will allow the device to show the wearer what's going on in the real world. Information or virtual objects overlaid on those cameras will enable the device to track eye movements as well as hand gestures. It'll also have LiDAR sensors like those found on the iPhone 12 Pro and iPad Pro to help measure the distance between objects in the real world and properly scale and present virtual objects in a physical space. The headbands for the device are said to be interchangeable and will include spatial audio technology, similar to what's in the AirPods Pro and AirPods Max. And Apple's work on its own in-house chips to power the headset should come as no big surprise, given that it makes its own silicone, powering nearly all of its hardware these days. The most recent information suggests that the headset is in the latter stages of development and could ship as soon as 2022. But given these potential specs it's not going to be cheap. The price point is rumored to come in around $3,000. Given the advanced hardware and high price it's clear this is less a device for consumers and more a competitor to Microsoft's 3500 HoloLens 2. This report corroborates other things we've heard over the years. Back in 2018, CNET was the first to say that Apple's VR device would feature dual 8K screens. Bloomberg reported last month that the headset would be focused on virtual reality and include an advanced external camera system. A recent executive shuffle might also point to Apple getting more serious about its VR project. In late January Apple's Dan Riccio moved from his position as head of hardware engineering to a new unnamed project. Shortly after Apple made this announcement, Bloomberg reported that he was heading up the team working on Apple's headset hardware. The publication also claimed that the headset team was working through unnamed struggles which Apple hoped Riccio's experience would lead them through. It's important to note, that Apple has confirmed none of this aside from Riccio having a new role working on an unannounced project. This could all easily amount to nothing but with the years of Apple headset rumors coalescing into more concrete details reported by multiple publications, 2022 might finally be the year Apple makes a big move into virtual reality. Apple Smart Glasses as discussed in our previous video, Apple is working on a set of augmented reality glasses, which leaker John Prosser has suggested Apple will call, Apple Glass. That name would be an unusual choice given the similarity to the name of Google Glass, a product that existed long before Apple's work on AR glasses was first discovered. The glasses are said to look similar to regular glasses, with both lenses to feature displays that can be interacted with using gestures. There will be an option to get the glasses with no prescription lenses at a possible starting price of $499, with prescription lenses available at an additional cost. According to Bloomberg, the glasses are in an early stage of development, even earlier than the VR headset that Apple is working on. The glasses have been described as a several years away, 
though Apple had initially been planning to release them as early as 2023. The current prototype resembles high-end sunglasses with thick frames that house the battery and chips. Apple is allegedly planning to use cutting-edge OLED microdisplays supplied by Sony for its rumored augmented reality glasses. Sony's OLED microdisplays feature an ultra-fast response rate, ultra-high contrast, a wide color gamut, high luminance, low reflectance, and integrated drivers for a thin and light design. The glasses are said to feature a 0.5-inch display with a 1280 x 960 resolution. We expect the AR glasses to be marketed as an iPhone accessory and will primarily take a display role, offloading computing, networking, and positioning to the iPhone, with the glasses providing a mobile-first, optical see-through AR experience. Offering the AR glasses as an iPhone accessory will allow Apple to keep them slim and lightweight. Prosser says that the glasses will look similar to Ray-Ban wayfarers or the glasses that Tim Cook wears. Bloomberg has said the Apple glasses will run ROS, or Reality Operating System. ROS is said to be based on iOS, the operating system that runs on the iPhone. For the AR headset, Apple is developing a system on a package chip similar to what's in the Apple Watch, though it will rely on the iPhone as mentioned. Over the course of developing an AR headset, Apple has considered touch panels, voice activation, and head gestures as input methods and a range of applications from mapping to texting are being prototyped. Virtual meeting rooms and 360-degree video playback are also concepts that are being explored. Though there were initial rumors of a 2020 launch, Bloomberg believes AR glasses are years away from release, with the VR headset to come out in 2022. A report from Digitimes suggested Apple's AR glasses will launch in 2021, and Apple analyst Ming Kai Kui expects a 2022 launch at the earliest. Leaker John Prosser believes Apple will unveil its AR glasses in March or June of 2021, but this seems inaccurate given estimates from Bloomberg and Kui. Prosser also says that Apple is working on a limited edition Steve Jobs Heritage version of the smart glasses that are designed to look like the round frameless glasses that Steve Jobs used to wear, but Bloomberg's Mark Gurman has called this rumor complete fiction. Sky's the limit for the future of Apple innovation. These latest reports are just the start of how Apple will continue to make its mark well into the future. Which device will you be getting? And what would you most like to use it for? Let's discuss it in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video please remember to hit the like and subscribe for more content like this in the future.